Yeah, really, really good defensively, especially. I thought we really started getting into them and and uh, stopped some of that DHO action. We were just beating them to the spot, and um, and I think we ended it with eight consecutive stops to end the game. That's pretty good, especially in a close game like that. You said you, you'd like to challenge for not necessarily the guys who'd seen the Sixers before, but the other guys. So how do you think those kids kind of handled the moment? Oh, they did okay. You know, I think they did okay. It was nice to see. I thought OG had a pretty solid game. Um, he hasn't played that much against them. Um, we executed our schemes really well, obviously, on on uh, certain players and Bede especially. Um, but yeah, I think you know Rondé, Terrence, Chris all were all made some plays, um, pretty good. And um, I don't know. I kind of just liked our composure. I thought all game long. Even though we didn't shoot a very good percentage, I thought we were composed on offense and kept getting good shots, you know, decent shots. We never really were panicked. We didn't seem frustrated at the offensive end and whoever was out there. And geez, I think one time I had, I had uh, what, what we probably would consider uh, four four men in a center at, at one point, right? <laughs> Pascal, OG, Rondé, and Chris and Mark or something. Weird like that, but 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 it's okay. They just you know we keep it simple. We get it to Mark, like I said, and do some cutting, and and uh, those guys did a good job. Uh, obviously, it's more than just one guy. You were sending second defenders at at Embiid as well. But what is it that Mark does that's able to sort of get under his skin and frustrate him a little bit? Well, we you know it's it's again f first thing, Josh is we got to guard him, right? Like like we try to take away his trail threes. You know, a lot of times he'll come down and just be the last one down, they'll flip it back to him. And, and um, you know, we, we just, we really try to, um, you know, take those away and make him bounce it. Um, we try to stay, you know, a little closer to home on him, just than more than normal. You know, a lot of times you're sending your rim, your big to help or rim protect or whatever, but we kind of, you know, it's kind of why you see a few breakdowns. We kind of live with some of that stuff, you know, um, like, like start the half Simmons came off the ball screen and went straight downhill a couple of times, you know, it's because we're trying to not let the ball go back to Embiid as much, right? So we're not providing probably enough help as we should there. And then you got to change the scheme and bring somebody else over from the weak side or whatever to stop, you know, you know just kind of keep making adjustments as you go. But just, just again, try to, try to guard them, you know, on the low block, obviously we like to send a couple bodies. Don't let him get his little post game going. With Mark does a great job of fighting him for position. He doesn't catch too many right under the rim and just turn and use his size and lay it in. Last year in the playoffs, Fred had I mean, 14 points and three baskets in seven games against these guys. He did, better, he did better this year. Yeah, yeah, he did a little bit better. <laughs> but what do you attribute that to? Oh, I just think that um, he had a lot of growth. Doug, right, and those playoffs. I think he had a lot of growth. I think I've talked to you a little bit more about some of the tweaks we he made to his game or we made to his game. You know that we just learned against some of these some of these other teams. And and again, it's pretty invaluable to play an extra two months in that type of competition. And and he became a prime time player for us in those playoffs. And then obviously this year with the change of the roster, he becomes a starter and he's logging major minutes and. He's just a better player, I think, and playing with more confidence. It's almost the same story with Pascal. I mean, they put Embiid on him for the last six games of that series. He obviously had a tough time. And tonight, they didn't even use that matchup much, probably because of the development of his shot. Like, uh, how much of a learning experience was that series for these guys? Well, I think the whole thing was, was learning, but, but, you know, it was a, it was big time. I mean, I think, again, we talked about pregame that, that you got so much more data to go to playing them seven straight times. So, you know, we, we end up using a lot of lineups, a lot of coverages, a lot of things, and you're looking at all the things that you did and you're trying to relate it to this current game. But again, like, you know, I've said this before too, our menu of the things we can do at this point compared to at this point a year ago is like quadruple, if not more. I mean, last year we were playing fundamental foundation building defense and we had like no schemes in, right? And now we've got, too many. <laughs> we got so many, we don't know how, what to do with half of them. But you're still also using three brand new guys in your top eight. Why? Why does that translate? Well, I think you got some good footage to show them, Doug. First of all, you know you show them, even though you're looking at different guys out there, and we, we show clips from last year's playoff before this game. This is how this looks, and and I think you know again, like like I say to you, all I really want 
those guys or new guys or young guys to do is to try to execute the schemes the way we're used to executing them or what what we sh what we show them. And um, you know, and as far as as far as like Ronda, he's able to do that. He's a he's a he's a defender and he's and he's smart. He executes the coverage and he's got great feet. Uh, et cetera. Chris and Terrence are a little bit of another story. They're just kind of playing out there on some energy and some and some will, but they make some plays with with that energy and stuff. But um, I guess that's the answer to that. By my count, you had a lot of zero one pass possessions compared to the playoffs last year. A lot of early clock offense. Is that because against a defense like Philadelphia, you you know if you search, you might not find the great shot, so you just take the first good one you can get. Well, we um. A couple things. One, one is we we did you know part of the game plan was to try and get up a high volume of threes tonight, and we kind of to do that you kind of got to say we got to cut it loose. You know, first open three, whoever gets to take it. I wanted to shoot forty five tonight. We didn't quite make it. It's a good thing too because we weren't making very many. But um, uh, and you know we were again playing through Mark a little bit, and that's, that was usually about a two-pass offense. Pass it to Mark, wait for the cutter, he makes the next pass, and you, hopefully you get a decent shot out of it. But I, but again, I, I, I try, I'm not trying to get caught up in kind of really what it looks like or, or the, the rankings of where we are offensively or any of that stuff. I'm just, I think we just are playing composed, you know, and, and working for decent shots, and, and we are mixing it up. We're getting some cuts, we're getting some transition, we're getting – uh, some drives, and we're getting a little bit of our drive, kick, and swing game that we like to play too. So um, there's a pretty good feel, I think, with just the offense. It feels, for the hundredth time, composed. Nick, with the way the atmosphere was tonight, especially in that fourth quarter, um, with Terrence and Rondé not wavering at all, uh, does that give you a little bit more trust in them down the line, or do you take more note of that? Well, yeah, I think that um, you know Terrence is pretty fearless, right? He's a, he's a he's a scorer that that's pretty fearless out there, and I think Rondé's just become a good really good player. <laughs> right? He's just a really good player. I played him 18 straight minutes in the first half, and you know that's kind of our theory, our policy. You know, you get you off the bench, and if you're rolling, you're gonna you know roll as long as you want to. Um, so it's been a nice nice all th all those all three of those guys have been have been very very good. I think as bench players now.